In this tutorial you are going to learn how to create a glass material in Cinema 4D and Octane that will look something like this, but it pretty much depends on what colors you are using and how intense the reflection on the surface of the glass material is set to in Octane. So let's go. So first we need our material, so let's create it right over here, shader and Octane material. Double click it. Next we are going to change the material type from diffuse to specular. And now we need to apply some settings over here. First set the roughness to 0 0.0001. Next we set the dispersion to 0 0.044. And our index to 2.417. Now we pretty much have our basic glassy kind of diamond like material. So let's close that and create an object to apply our material in. I'm gonna set the landscape to spherical right over here and so we basically just have a sphere with a lot of reflections that can bounce off of these different um, furrows. I applied the material right here so we can have a first look at it and you can see that it's pretty sick already but we need to get some colors into here to make it even more interesting and that's what we're going to do next. So to get some colors into here we can grab an image from unsplash.com. Um, we need to type an acrylic pour and there we have some images we could use to get some abstract colors into our glass material. I think we are going to use that one. Let's try that. Let's download it and go back into Cinema 4D. Let's create an HDRI environment and at the texture panel, yeah, you can see I downloaded some more of those acrylic pore images. You can pretty much Google them. Most of them are free and you can download them in a huge resolution, so yeah. Go do that if you don't find anything on Unsplash. So now I applied this HDRI texture and we can see it's rendering. I think we are going to apply yeah, a subdivision surface on the landscape so it gets a little smoother. That looks better. Let's... Um, Let's uncheck keep environment and activate alpha channel. And let's look at what we've got right here. Yeah, let's maybe mess around with the rotations. Um, let's modify the landscape. It's a bit too, too harsh. Yeah, let's, let's, let's remove some scale. Scale at 0 0.31 looks way better. And now you can see there are colors appearing right here, which look extremely amazing from close up. I love this effect so much. Yeah, and now we're pretty much done. You can go ahead and get close ups of this. You can generate so many cool posts out of one of these objects because you pretty much can view it from any angle and it looks amazing. And now you can pretty much export it and use it for your social media or wherever you want to post it. If you want to see more art I create you can go to my Instagram. It would be amazing if you could tag me if you used this tutorial to create something. I want to see it and yeah. Have a nice day.